Hello, I am Jessica with Crochet It Creations and we are on square six, which is our final square of the textured fun crochet along. It is the Celtic stitch. And as you can see here, I actually have the blanket put together. Um, so I'm going back afterwards and making this video because this was my final video to make. And I did um, just kind of like a little sneak peek you could see where I did slip stitch the squares together, but you can also sew them together. So when you move on to the construction of it, you have um, several options of how to get these squares together. But I did slip stitch and then I blocked afterwards. So just kind of a sneak peek ahead. But this Celtic square here, you could see that it's got these nice um, weaved in and out stitches. Um, I love the look of this. This is one of my favorite crochet techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put the blanket aside. Actually, I'll probably just move it up here so you can kind of still see it. All right. I don't think that'll block our light. So I have an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using my Clover Amour like usual. I am using Big Twist yarn. I'm just using what I have left. This is in medium teal, I've been told that this color may be discontinuing, so I apologize if you're unable to find it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with a slip knot and your foundation single crochet of 26. So chain two, work your foundation single crochet stitches, and you want to do that for 26 single crochets. If you do not like the foundation row, you may replace it with a chain of 27 and then single crochet in the second chain from hook. Completely your options. I just prefer to do a foundation row. I like how stretchy it is. I like the look of it. I feel like it completes uh, my work much better than a starting chain does, but that is perfectly up to you and your preference. So we're just going into the chain, making the chain, making the single crochet. So this makes your chain and your single crochet stitch all at once. So make your chain, make the single crochet. I use this technique for almost anything that I'm working flat. You can replace a single crochet with any crochet stitch to make a foundation row. So yes, the foundation row can be made in a half double crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, even a slip stitch. So um, you just would replace the um, single crochet with your st stitch that you're making. So we're making a chain and a single crochet. Um, and you probably have noticed that squares um, one through four used a foundation double crochet and then the squares five and six use a foundation single crochet. So if you're kind of just joining in this video, maybe after the crochet along's finished or stumble, stumbled upon it because you wanted to learn the Celtic stitch, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to work the blanket. You can work the square up as a washcloth or a dishcloth or whatever you want for any other pattern. But I am just showing you um, the technique for the purposes of the blanket. All right, sorry, I've got my computer next to me making sure I tell you the appropriate steps to take. Um, so I'm kind of referring back and forth. So I do need to stop, count how many single crochet stitches I have on my hook. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, almost there. 24, 25, and 26. So then this pattern does use the chainless starting double crochet. So that is that technique where you make a double crochet that's standing on its own, no chaining necessary. Um, so if you don't like that technique either, you can replace it with a chain three. But in order to do so, you would want to pull the loop up to your height, hold on to it tight, yarn over with it, insert into the stitch, 
pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through the last two. That makes a chainless starting double crochet. Looks just like a double crochet stitch without a chain sticking out here on the side. Okay, so our pattern tells us to do the chainless starting double crochet, skip two stitches, and then treble crochet in the next two. So skip two, treble crochet in two. I'm going to do the best I can on showing you this technique without getting my hands in the way. I think I've told you before, the thing that holds my camera, which is my phone, covers most of the screen. So I cannot see what you're seeing. So I apologize if it's not completely clear on this pattern. I do have step-by-step -step photos as well. Some people like written instructions, some like photos, some like videos, some like all three. But this pattern does have all three options. Okay, so treble in those two stitches, cross in front of the stitches just made, and treble crochet in the first skip stitch. So that's this stitch here. This is the first skipped. We're going to go in front, and it's important to know this is in front, this will be behind. So important to know which one you're doing. So go in front, treble crochet in two stitches, and then treble crochet in the next skip stitch. So you're crossing, you're making little X's that are crossing in front. Let me move this blanket out of the way. Maybe you get better light. Oh, okay. All right. So then our pattern tells us to repeat from star to star. So we do that again. Skip two, where am I at? Skip two stitches. So one, two, treble crochet into two stitches. And then once you're finished with that, you want to go in front of what you just worked and treble crochet in the first skip stitch. So there's the first one. Treble crochet in the next skip stitch. Sometimes you have to pull it apart, find the stitch, grab it with your hook, and work it. All right, now do that again. Skip two stitches, treble crochet into two stitches. All right, and then go back, work in front, treble crochet into that first skipped stitch. Like I said, sometimes you just gotta grab it with your hook and kind of pull it out so you can work in it and then work that stitch. Do it again. Skip two stitches, treble crochet in two stitches. And then go back, treble crochet in the first skipped stitch. Yeah, stop. My computer's blacking out. Okay. All right. And then treble crochet in the next skipped stitch. Do it again. You're just doing this all the way across. Skip two stitches. Treble crochet into two stitches. Go back and work. Treble crochet in that first skipped stitch. Treble crochet in that second skip stitch. Skip two stitches. Treble crochet into two stitches. Go in those two skip stitches, and then here is our last stitch hanging out here. You want to double crochet in that last stitch. So let's take a look at what it looks like at this point. You've got these little X's that are crossing over each other all the way across. So this is 
Round one was the single crochet foundation row. I mean, row, two, row one. Row one was the foundation single crochet. Row two is this, um, the treble crochet. This is the right side of your work. So we're gonna flip it over. We're working the wrong side. Do your chainless starting double crochet. Back post, double crochet around two stitches. So these two stitches here are, um, you're gonna back post, double crochet around each of those. So back post around that first one, back post, double crochet around the next one. And then you want to skip two stitches. So these are the two stitches and I'm gonna make this as easy as I can on video. It's probably not gonna be that easy, but skip two stitches. So here's the two and you're going to front post treble and these two back post treble. Goodness, excuse me. I'm going to say the wrong words and I'm going to get you, get you guys confused. So skip two stitches, back post treble around two stitches. So, so this is the first one to back post treble because remember we're working on the wrong side of the work. So back post treble around two stitches. So there we go. We got those two back post treble crochets done. These are the two stitches we skipped. Sometimes you just have to kind of have to lay things out, pull it apart, take a look at those stitches. Um, so then you're wanting to back post treble around the first skip stitch. So that's this stitch here. So go back behind it, back post treble. Oh goodness. So hard to do it on camera in slow motion. Okay. And then back post treble around that next skip stitch, which is right here. Hopefully our sunlight is doing okay. It's a very cloudy, rainy day. Um, so hopefully you guys can see I'm working right in front of a window, trying to get some natural light in. All right. So skip two stitches. So we're going to repeat that. So that's an X made. We're going to repeat that all the way across. So skip two stitches and then back post treble around two stitches. It's just really important to use your fingers to fill the stitches because you can't always see. You kind of just have to feel like pulling them apart, taking a look, filling those stitches and then back post treble around the first skip stitch. and then back post treble around the next skipped stitch. So I just use my finger to fill those stitches because I can't always see, but if I pull it apart, I can. So here we go, we got two st stitches here. We're gonna skip those two, back post treble around those two. Your screens time it out again okay so we've got these two stitches here that we skipped we're gonna go back and back post treble around the first so we're going behind the whole thing back post treble around next skip stitch which is right there I kind of just pull it out grab it with my hook work around it skip two stitches so there's two to skip back post treble in two, and then back post treble around the first skipped stitch, and back post treble around the second skipped stitch. And I know the audio on my videos aren't always the best. It's kind of just where I film at and the equipment I have is not the greatest. And on top of that, I have a cold this morning. So <laughs> hopefully you can hear me. Skip two stitches, back post treble around two stitches. And then, uh, Front post or back post treble. 
<laughs> I can't even talk. Backmost treble around the two skip stitches. That's what I mean. See, sometimes you just need to have the written instructions in front of you so that when you're watching my videos, you can read those as we're going along because I say the wrong words. Ugh. Okay, so we're at the end. We've got three stitches left. We want to back post double crochet around these two stitches. So back post double crochet on the first, back post double crochet on the second, and then double crochet in the last stitch, just a regular double crochet in the top of that chainless starting double crochet that we made on row two. So just a regular double crochet in the last. Flip it over, see what we got. See, we're starting to get these X's that weave in and out. So now essentially, this is the right side. Essentially we're repeating row two, but row two was just um, treble crochets. They weren't front posts since we had single crochets there. So we're gonna do the same thing we did in row two, but do post stitches instead of regular stitches. So let me show you that now. Go ahead and make your chainless starting double crochet. And then we want to skip two stitches. So skip these two, front post, treble around the two skip stitches. And then go back. Did I say that wrong? Front post, so skip two stitches, front post, treble around two stitches, and then go back and front of the work, front post, treble, and first skipped stitch front post treble and second skipped stitch. All right, so we're starting to cross in front again. So skip two stitches, so there's the two skitches, stitches to skip, front post treble in the next two. I'm hitting my camera. All righty. And here's the two skipped stitches right there. It's hiding, you gotta pull it apart front post treble around that first skipped stitch, front post treble around the second skipped stitch. See how it's starting to make those X's, making the weaves in and out. This is a really pretty technique once you get the hang of it. Skip two stitches, front post treble into two stitches. Go back and work the front post treble on the first skip stitch, going in front. We're working in front of our work, so on the right side, when we're on the wrong side, we work behind it. Okay, skip two stitches, front post treble on two stitches. Front post treble on the two skip stitches. Skip two stitches. We're almost at the end of this row. This is the end of row four. Front post treble on the two skip stitches. Pull it apart, find those two with your fingers. Grab that with your hook and front post treble around it. Front post treble around the next. All right. We got just a few stitches left. Skip two stitches, there's two to skip. Front post treble round two. Okay. And then skip these two stitches, front post treble around those two. Front post treble. And then you're going to double crochet in the last stitch, which is this chainless starting double crochet. You can see the two loops right there. You're going to double crochet into that. See what the end of row four looks like. All right. So you're going to repeat that. So it looks like, let me tell you the correct amount to end on because I know I've said it wrong in my previous videos. Um, repeat. 
Oh wait, <laughs> I'm on the wrong stitch. How'd that happen? I don't know why I just did. But anyways, um, so go ahead and repeat rows three and four. So you're gonna flip it over, work the wrong side, do those back posts. So repeat rows three and four, um, the one, the two we just did until you reach 13 rows and then do a border around it. Please check out the written instructions on crochetcreations.com or on Ravelry. There's also photos on there for step-by-step -step in case you get lost. I think it's great to have both of them. Um, you can print the version on Ravelry. That helps as well to have that in front of you while you watch the video. Um, so please share this with your friends and subscribe if you like this video. That way I can keep doing videos and um, share more with you all. So hope that you're liking this crochet along and we are finished with week six. So this is the last square. Um, next week we will do the construction which is putting all the squares together and then the last week will be the border. So hope you're enjoying it. I will see you again soon. Bye.